Steve Burke. I'm one of the senior game designers on World of Warcraft. We're here at PAX East 2014. I'm excited to talk to you about World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor. Uh, one of the features that I'm most excited about with this expansion is our garrisons. Uh, this is an idea that's been brewing for a while and we finally got a great chance to, to bring it forward. Uh, big project. Um, so at the beginning of, of Draenor, we've got this crisis. Orcs are pouring through the dark portal and attacking Azeroth. So uh, our greatest heroes, including you, uh, need to kind of rally up and, and go through on, on kind of a suicide mission. This is just deadly. Thousands of orcs pouring through. You go through the dark portal and you're in the heart of this uh, dark iron, this iron horde, uh, really the center of, of their power. Uh, and it, it looks really bleak. You guys are on your heels for that whole, it's about an hour experience, kind of a, a preface, a, a prologue to the expansion. Um, a little bit similar to the Death Knight experience, but we're cranking up the tension a bit. It's gonna be really, you're gonna escape by the skin of your teeth, you're gonna disrupt the Iron Horde a little bit, and you're gonna get a chance to kind of meet each one of these uh, chieftains of, of the, old, uh, the old clans. Uh, one by one in their setting and uh, kind of th throw a wrench in, in what they're doing, rescue a lot of the inhabitants of Draenor that they're using for, for nefarious purposes and barely escape out of that experience. And then the Horde and Alliance are each going to go to their own zones. They've got their own intro zones with their own stories. Uh, when you first land, taking the Horde for example, when you first land in Frostfire Ridge, you're going to meet with Duratan, who is Thrall's father, so some big characters there. And all these refugees, including his brother, are going to pour off of your ship that you've rescued from that first experience. And in gratitude, he's going to give you a piece of his land where you get to kind of stake your claim and build your garrison. This is going to be kind of essentially your city here on Draenor. Super savage expansion not nearly as welcoming as pandaria might have been uh, so as you're adventuring through first you get to make some interesting choices right off the bat you've got several buildings to choose from and a few plots to place them in and each of these buildings are going to give some really tangible benefits to you as you adventure through through draenor so they're they're big choices um, as you as you adventure the garrison's going to level up you're going to get more plots, you're going to get more options for different buildings. And again, continuing to make those, those weighty choices as to what's going to go where uh, in, in your garrison. Uh, one of the really exciting things is that as you're adventuring through and questing through the zones, you're going to come across NPCs, maybe quest givers themselves at the end of their quest chain will be so grateful for, for all you've done for them that you can recruit them and send them back into your garrison. Uh, you might rescue an orc from a, a, a horde of, of ogres attacking him and again he's going to be grateful and, and willing to work for you back in your garrison. Maybe you rescue one from the bottom of a dungeon for example. Dozens of these guys. So as you adventure through uh, Draenor and we're going to keep looping you back in through that that garrison, you're going to really need to go back and and uh, and maintain it and, and touch base with with your people. You're going to get this tapestry of all that you've done through the expansion. You know all these characters that you've you've brought on that you've chosen to to bring into your your own army, uh, and they've got a lot of depth to them. They're going to have their own weapons and armor sets with their own eye level. So you're going to constantly be working on improving them. You're going to be able to send them out on missions. Uh, and assign each, uh, each individual team to go con conquer certain challenges. Those will be rewarding. They might increase their items. They might bring items back that you can personally use. Uh, so really excited about that. They're gonna level up. Uh, you can assign them to buildings to make those buildings more productive. It's gonna be a really vibrant, organic kind of living experience. We've got a lot of new tech that's going into that experience to make it really feel alive. Uh, also, uh, as, you're, as you're going around and kind of poking these guys in the eye a little bit, stirring them up, they're going to launch counterattacks on you in your garrison. You've got to go down, the, go back there and, and rally your troops and, and withstand actual attacks from, from these guys. You can invite your friends into that experience or just take them on with, with your followers. So, um, very excited about that feature. We're really making a, a lot of effort to make it integral. It's not just an appendage to World of Warcraft. We're going to loop you back in there frequently. It's going to be a real big part of how you take on the expansion.